Hey, how's it going, everybody? Expat Stacker coming to you with some recent pickups that I got here and pretty crazy story. So, go ahead and look at these pickups. Here we got a uh, 2018, uh, sorry, 1988 10th uh, ounce Eagle and a 2016 Eagle. Uh, and picked up these I think these things are just some of the most gorgeous silver coins I've seen in a minute um, Malta Central Bank of Malta I picked up five of them because I wanted to um, you know actually see them and have them and hold them before picking up more but I'll definitely be picking up more of these these are incredible I love the Maltese cross and just everything about these are great. So, mm, picked up another 10 ounce bar, RCM bar, nothing too special. Got a little bit of tonnage, but that's all right. Uh, got a growing stack of those. Um, picked up another St. Helena um, bar here. So that's adding to this one that I picked up before. And then, got a other uh east india company bar and this one has the king on it and the previous ones that i've had uh oh this is a 250 gram sorry the previous ones that i've had have the uh the queen on it so anyway got a growing stack of these as well um and then yeah this is a 250 gram and then I got another 250 gram with the king on it. So, yeah, so now to the crazy story. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna get too deep into the details, but basically my wife got, we had a kind of a high yield savings account and we got scammed for over $30,000. And that was a real uh, painful hit financially because um you know i've been working several jobs um just gonna kind of lay out my 10 ounce bar stack here while i'm talking because uh, as i've said 10 ounce bars are kind of a rarity out here but i'm kind of making it happen piecemeal but uh yeah I i've been working like several jobs for several years um to build up our savings and kind of sort of all got wiped out um except obviously for what we've been stacking and my wife has always been on board with the stacking but i think she really actually fully realized just how important and valuable it is and like the real concept of, of being your own bank um and you know more than the money i mean obviously losing that amount of money for a working class person like me is very painful, you know, and I have three kids. Um, but more importantly than that, I mean, a crime was committed against my wife. And like I said, I'm not really wanting to get into all the details, but they threatened to murder our whole family, including my kids, which was the most upsetting part for me. Um, like I said, obviously, I don't want to lose that money, but I don't really care. I mean, if I had to pay, you know, 30 grand for the safety of my family or whatever, then that's, I obviously would choose my family over that than more. That that was the most upsetting thing to me. And I think it was an empty threat, but nevertheless, that was what actually made me angry about the whole thing, not losing the money. Um, because, you know, we have our stack, we have stocks, we have other things where, it's not like we lost everything, you know? I mean, we lost cash savings, basically, almost all of it. But at the same time, someone threatened my family and someone like, um, you know, hurt my wife, you know? So to me, that's the, the most difficult part and the part that really actually angered me. Um, but at the same time, we have this, we have financial security. And I told my wife, you know, it's money. It comes and goes, 
you know um and that was the first thing i told her she was like blaming herself because it was a scam you know and she was blaming herself and she was like devastated and i was like you can't blame yourself you know you were victimized and we have other means to support ourselves that's what we've been stacking for you know so i told her we need to we need to like take some time off from our daily grind you know we we took a couple of vacations i mean obviously we reported everything to the police they're doing what they can although i didn't like how they acted when we first went there but that's another story um so far you know they haven't caught the person but we'll see um but more importantly than that my family is safe you know so but yeah i mean i've talked in the past a lot about being your own bank and you know how this is like you know supporting you financially and things like that more than like trusting a bank and stuff you know but it really took on a whole new meaning i, I kind of alluded to this in a previous video i said something big happened that i might share with you guys well this is it i just didn't feel comfortable talking about it you know right after it, it happened and it was so fresh but you know it's i mean things happen in life there's ups and downs um, as long as my family is safe um, and I can keep striving to support them, then I think everything will be okay. But I'm just so glad and I just want to reiterate to everybody out there that it could happen to anybody. You know, that's what the police actually told us is that it's not that it could happen to anybody. It does happen to everybody from regular people like us to executives, you know, at like big companies and stuff like that to politicians to everybody it happens to everybody so having this to you know secure your existence and stuff is very important i think um and i i knew that but it took on a whole new meaning for me when it actually happened you know so slowly but surely i've been you know trying to take care of my wife and everything and she was like i'm gonna make the money back and blah 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 and i was like look I mean, she's not working. She was a housewife, you know, before this happened. And I said, I don't want you to think like that because if you do, it, you're never going to, you know, move past this. We got to we gotta live we gotta live our lives and, and not dwell on this forever, you know. It's a painful thing that happened, but we, are, we have to move on and live the rest of our lives. So I don't want you to think like that, that you have to make up for somebody else committing a crime against you, you know. So... But I said at the same time, if you feel like you want to work and you want to be productive and, and like that, that would help you somehow, by all means, I will support you. And so, you know, sure enough, I mean, she got a kind of like a freelance job going now. And then on top of that, she also said that to me that she wanted to start her own business. So I sold some of my stocks and I've invested in um, helping her out and uh, doing the interior for her business. It's uh, basically like um, a thrift store kind of deal um, in a neighborhood. So it sells like, you know, we have obviously a lot of baby clothes and stuff because we have three young kids and they go through that stuff kind of quickly. So we have um, lots of baby clothes, you know, handbags and all kinds of stuff that might be useful to people in the neighborhood. So um, I you know we she found a place and then i just went over there and you know made like a blueprint for it and bought a whole bunch of furniture and we're just kind of slowly doing the thing and the business will be open soon so i feel like we kind of took a negative thing and just try to make it into like a constructive thing you know so but yeah man um it's part of life good things and bad things happen and i'm just glad that i was in a in a state um, physically and mentally that I was able to take care of my wife and my family when they really needed it and at the same time I'm so glad and happy that I've had stacking and I've had time to build it up on top of that uh, I have been adding to the stack but at the same time I've also been selling some stuff so um, I've sold uh, my graded gold buffalo I sold the gold Zeus or they're in the process of selling and then I'm selling a whole bunch of like gold fractional um, bars and 
I sold uh, like a tenth ounce of platinum, a one gram platinum bar, and then a whole bunch of like um, uh, silver like uh, collectible sets. Um, I wanted to make a video to show what I was going to be selling, but I just didn't have the time because I've been setting up the business. But like the um, Lunar 3 set with the boxes, I'm selling that. There's a whole bunch of like collectible stuff, you know. And I'm just focused on 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 ma mainly just weight, you know. And I'll be adding stuff like these bars and eagles and some of this to stick into my um, for for gold, American gold, Austrian gold, silver, you know these bars and and coins that are that are sought after not collectible stuff i'm basically kind of doing away with that from my from my stack um for the most part it's gonna be all about just weight you know so i do have a couple of things here and there that i'll probably hang on to but other than that just basically selling everything um that's like collectible stuff and it just adding this weight stuff so because um, I feel like I've had two times where I've had to sell major chunks of my stack. Um, and th th this being the second time. And, um, you know, I feel like uh, from my experience with that, it it's better to just stack this way. Um, also, I'm planning to pass this stack on someday to, you know, when I'm gone. Um, hopefully to my loved ones. And I feel like this would be easier for them to manage Hopefully I'll be able to teach them about it as they get older. But just in case, you know, I don't want them to be like, oh, this is like a really collectible set. You know, how much should I sell this for? It'll be a, a bit easier for them to manage, like, if they just kind of sell like this, you know. Maybe there's like some slightly more collectible things, you know, like, like this, for example. But for the most part, it'll just be easier for them to sell if I, if I stack like this or to continue to grow, you know, if they up not to sell but um anyways guys that's kind of like what's been going on with me it's been it's been crazy it's been tumultuous but at the same time i feel very proud of my wife because um she's been you know so strong and determined through it all and uh, i feel good that we kind of came together as a family and supported each other and you know um like i said again Thank goodness for stacking because otherwise, if we had all of our money in the in cash in the bank, we would have been ruined. And I mean, we took a big hit, no doubt, but we didn't lose it all. So, thank goodness for stacking. You guys have no idea like how much it's it's um, saved us. You know that and 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 investing in in the stock market you know those are the two main things that kind of saved us we have a little bit of like crypto and whatnot but really those are the two big main things that saved us and i just want to reiterate that to you guys being your own bank is real it's not just a catchphrase and stuff like that this it really can save you so i just encourage people if you're new to stacking or if you just somehow stumble across this video and you're still watching consider it man for real um, and if you're a veteran stacker, hey, it's always good to have a reminder. So anyways, guys, that's the crazy story that I have. I'm sorry, I don't really want to go into detail about it. Um, maybe later on, uh, another time I will. But um, just for now, just that's enough to know. I just wanted to get the message across. So yeah, guys, with that being said, much love and respect, and I'll catch you on the flip side.